currently mid packing up. It is coming to an end of the school year. And it is crazy empty in here. And it's obviously an absolute mess. We are now on day two of packing. I got a lot of stuff done today. There's still a lot to get. The walls are pretty much empty. We've gotten a lot of stuff home. The ground is like the biggest mess. And then I have birthday decorations still up that I have to take down. I'm very sad to be packing up and moving out. This like became my home away from home. And now I'm leaving. So more stuff to pack. We are getting down to the dwindle of things. I move out in... Today's Wednesday. I move out on Sunday. Four days. I move out in four days. I've done a lot, but there's still so much to do. Good beautiful morning. Today is Saturday, April 30th. Uh, roommate just moved out. So I move out tomorrow morning, which means there's a lot to do in this room and not a lot of time to do it. It is 10.30 in the morning. Obviously, I have to take all that down. Uh, my bedding's gonna stay for tonight because I'm sleeping here, obviously. This is a majority of my stuff packed up. There's more stuff kind of everywhere. There's a lot to do, and there's a lot more than I thought. Besides just simple stuff that's obvious, we have like random stuff, just kind of like garbage, and just random stuff just laying all over the place. Task number one, I started last night um, and got a lot done. <laughs> But basically, we put LED strips on the bed, and on this bed, it just decided to leave all this stuff. So I'm like ripping it off as best as possible. tornado warnings and thunderstorm warnings for the past hour or two. It rained here, as you can see on the window. Um, nothing too serious, just a, a decent sized uh, thunderstorm. But in the suburbs, there was tornado sirens going off. Like I slept most of the day, but my parents are coming really early in the morning tomorrow, so I need to get all of this done. So this morning I ended up getting at least a majority of this sticky stuff off. Remember correctly, I put, yeah, I did remember correctly. I have two sheets on this bed, so I'm gonna pull that top sheet off and pack that up and then probably pull this stuff off the walls. My biggest worry for packing is Buddy over here, which has never been in a vlog. This is Buddy, my little beta fish. Buddy desperately needs a water change, but since I'm leaving, he needed one last week. The big bucket that I had that I was going to use to do the water change had a crack in it, so then I like flooded our floor. It was a mess, so now Buddy's waiting till we get home, and then he's also going to get a new tank at some point too. My problem with packing is I, I enjoy packing. Like I started packing for college like right after I graduated, like pretty quickly. I packed as I bought stuff. But now I have everything and I have to pack everything. So then it's like, I'll pack it and then I'll be like, oh wait, this can fit here. But then on top of that, I don't know where to start when I'm packing. So it's just been rough. But we're gonna start with the bed, attack the bed, call that a day, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> to go for move out. We have a new plan. I am going to attack this and then after I attack all of this, I'm gonna move everything that needs to move out over here. Our 
sweet mates came in clutch. They have a vacuum. We're gonna vacuum this really quick. I would say this is about 90 to 95% of my stuff. So I have a lot more stuff here than I realized. It is 1 a.m. I vacuumed. I feel like a little dirty, but it's a lot better than it was. It is uh, definitely upsetting to be in a quiet, empty room that echoes like nothing else. This semester, I was extremely homesick. I was terrified to leave home coming into college. And I'm still happy that I did in the aspect of growing up and being independent, moving into somewhere and then nine months later moving out of it. I've lived in the same house my entire life. Nothing has ever changed. So when I've never moved out of a house before, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't very sad as I've packed up the room and knowing that I'm leaving tomorrow. Good beautiful morning. It is 5 a.m. I am going to the sunrise because I can't sleep. Then after that, it's come home, finish packing the last of what's left. My parents will be here after they get off of work at 7 a.m. And then I'll be back in the suburbs, so. I just got back from the sunrise doing some last minute cleanups, just picking up the small things. My parents should be on their way. They should be leaving a house in like 20 minutes. I would say the room pretty much looks how it looked when I moved in. Got my desk moved back. Beds are both not done. It is 8 a.m. My parents just got here. Load one is going down. We're just doing stuff that I can carry right now. So I'm doing that. This is it. Last moments in the room. I am so sad. The camera might lose the good shot, but Snapchat's gonna get the good one. I'm 36. It has been nice knowing you. <sighs> Last time writing on their board this year. I think this is what I'm gonna miss most. Definitely not the kitchen. The kitchen's nasty. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good summer. Good beautiful afternoon. We are now on current day. Yesterday was Memorial Day. Happy late Memorial Day. I've now been home for a month and a half or so. I finished editing this video about a month ago and never filmed an outro but here i am now if you enjoyed this video you know what to do i will see you very soon expect at least a few videos this summer and hopefully a lot once school starts again we'll be back in chicago right now we're in the boring suburbs but it'll have to do